I'm Josh Vandervelden, Clinical Product Specialist with Salter Labs, and I'm here to go through the in-service for the Nebutech Nebulizer. The Nebutech is our high-density nebulizer. The Nebutech works like a spacer chamber. Aerosol builds in the chamber, so each time a patient takes a breath, they get the bulk of the aerosol in the first third of that breath. Then during exhalation, it's charging itself again, getting ready for the next breath, so on and so on. This eliminates waste into the atmosphere. It maximizes deposition by delivering aerosol in the first third of each breath. The Nevitech is very, very fast. It will typically do a three milliliter unit dose in three to five minutes and can be used with any aerosolized medication. The Nevitech comes in the package with four pieces. The nebulizer, mouthpiece, supply tubing, and a mask adapter. When assembling the Nebutech, place the mouthpiece into the side port with both valves facing upright. Then, attach the supply tubing to the base of the Nebutech. When you turn the Nebutech on, you will run it at 8 liters per minute. To put medication in the Nebutech, do not remove the tower from the nebulizer because that makes it easier to contaminate the device. The easiest way to fill is to remove the inspiratory valve from the top of the tower, squeeze medication into the Nebutech, and replace the inspiratory valve. The Nebutech has a capacity of six milliliters. Do not fill above six milliliters. Turn the Nebutech on. Most patients will take a mouthpiece treatment. The Nebutech is good at angles up to about 40 degrees in any direction. Do be careful that if a patient is reclined far and the Nebutech goes beyond parallel to the ground, the medication can come out the mouthpiece directly into the patient's mouth. This is typically uncomfortable for the patient and should be avoided if possible. If you have a patient that cannot tolerate a mouthpiece treatment, remove the mouthpiece and set it aside. Take the inspiratory valve from the top to the side of the Nebutech. Take any conventional aerosol mask and place directly into the Nebutech. It should press fit firmly and snugly into the device. Again, if a patient is reclined, they may take the Nebutech treatment reclined as such. If a patient is reclined further and the Nebutech is sputtering and not functioning well, replace the inspiratory valve to the top and place the mask into the side port position. This will allow for a patient to be completely reclined and still take their aerosol treatment. You also can rotate masks to accommodate patients who may be in a sideline position while still allowing the tower of the Nebutech to be upright. If the aerosol mask that you have does not fit snugly into the Nebutech, there is a male to female adapter that may be placed into the Nebutech then a mask directly onto that. If the patient needs the Nebutech to have the mask in the top position, replace the valve back into the side, put your inspiratory, put your mask adapter into the top, and then mask directly onto the top of the device like so. If you need to adapt the Nebutech to a BiPAP or a closed circuit of some sort with a spring T adapter. Keep the mask adapter on the top of the Nebutech and engage the valve on the spring-loaded T like so. This can be done in either the top or side positions of the Nebutech. One of the common accessories for the Nebutech is the expiratory filter. The expiratory filter directly fits onto the expiratory valve on the mouthpiece. Ensure that both vents face away from the patient when being used. Another common accessory to the Nebutech is the Salter Safety PEP. Salter Safety PEP is a passive PEP device that goes directly onto the expiratory valve of the Nebutech itself. The Salter Safety PEP has a 20 centimeter pop-off built in so it does not require a manometer for patient safety. It also does not require flow 
into the device for use. It is adjustable. The numbers on the top do not indicate centimeters of water pressure, but merely indicate the numbers of one being a low setting and 10 being high. Most respiratory therapists begin treatments at a setting of four or five, and then tune it up or down based on the patient's expiratory time. When the Nevitec begins to sputter audibly, the treatment is concluded. To empty the residual volume, remove the mouthpiece, there's a large sputum reservoir that must be drained as well. Take the device, turn it sideways so the medication can be emptied out from the side elbow. Replace the mouthpiece and save for future use. The Nebutech may be used on any home nebulizer compressor. If a patient opts to take the device home, they must follow their cleaning guidelines as directed by their home care provider. Furthermore, hospitals will utilize the cleaning guidelines provided by infection control for the cleaning and care of their nebulizers.